Hey my friends, welcome back to Falcon's RC and we're going to start the build of the F3 so now that we have all our parts taped together, you know the blueprint taped together uh, we're going to start with the wing which is the main part uh, on this aircraft so let's put this on the side and what I'm going to do basically right now as you notice all the lines are per perfectly straight so I'm just going to go ahead and cut all the extra paper and just leave the, the wing and we're going to transfer this into the foam. So let me go ahead and cut this. Okay guys, so now that I have the wing basically traced out, uh, the clean wing, what I'm gonna do here now is place it on this point right here, you know, so I'm gonna trace a line all the way across, which is actually going to be the middle of the fuselage. Uh, let me grab a pen right here, there we go. Gonna mark this line right here all the way up there now I'm going to take this to the foam based with this line you know this is the middle of the fuselage so based on this right here here I'm gonna put some tape on this point okay so there put tape here uh, if this was you know a bunch of cores on these planes you know if it was if it had like cores here on all, all the other part of the wings I will be putting a bunch of tape, but due to the fact that these are very straight four lines, I'm just holding the wing tip right here. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab my ruler. I'm going to start tracing only this side right here. I'm not going to cut the middle part. Uh, cut this right here. My line. I'm gonna cut all the parts. Okay, now that I have this part basically all cut out, what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to mark with my knife where the other one is gonna be cut, or the other one. You know, the other on that point, just that much, maybe in the middle too, just to be sure, and at the wing tip, or at the end basically right here. Mark it right there. And the vertical, where the vertical stabilizer is, I guess I'm gonna do the same thing. Uh, this part is actually going to be cut off, but I'm just gonna mark it, mark right here the two ends, uh, make sure they haven't moved, mark this back over here, don't cut it though because this part it doesn't even going to be cut off so I'm just pointing at just to mark it basically and this is where the fish last middle is going to be so I guess you know again on the front and on the back and again these are just as a reference point and what I'm going to do now we're going to flip this over and I'm going to go ahead and show you this so grab my ruler again, grab my pencil and just gonna go ahead and mark these lines so I won't lose them this is what, what I just marked through the paper guys these are the lines that are gonna guide me to put the vertical stabilizer on place and this is where the iron is gonna be cut I'm not even gonna mark that one so you know, now I flip my page over as you noticed I just did and what I'm gonna do now is basically align this with the line again, the same line, and put tape on it again. Now for the other side. You know, this way you really minimize the waste of paper and you don't have that much blueprint to put together, you know. It's a lot faster and easier to do this way. Right there. And then the wind tip again just to cut it out. And as you notice, you know, the, where you put your knife to poke the stuff actually rather you see it's actually coming through and you can still you can still see through it to the paper so let me go ahead and cut this one out and I'll show you what it looks like okay my friends so basically I just cut away the extra phone you know cut cut the wing out, out of it completely and now what we're going to do basically mark you know the other side right here as, as you see I already done and mark the other one in place where it's gonna be at and we're just gonna take this away because we don't need it anymore you know we have to make sure you know we mark every line and everything in place before we take this away but now get out of the way I'm just going to go ahead and mark these lines like the 
where the fuselage is going to join into it on the bottom only really which this is the bottom of my plane uh, I'm not going to do it on the top because there is no need for it uh, there is no fuselage over the top this point right here let's see brother and the other one, I'm not going to mark the other one lines I already know where they are so the next next step is actually putting the wing brace or you know so you you can use a lot of things whatever you want to use uh, so, you know you can use a carbon rod uh, this one right here you can use a carbon square which is extr stronger and less flexible but it's also expensive it costs you as probably twice than a carbon to or you can use an old arrow these things are actually built out of carbon fiber too you know uh, you have one that you know probably the feathers are already broke on it or you just don't use it anymore because it's off balance uh, these things are very strong too as, as much as a carbon fiber square or you can use what I'm going to be using which is this metal right here I don't know if you will recognize this but this is actually from a windshield guys uh, let me see okay here we go this is the windshield on your car you know <laughs> so next time you have to change the one on your car uh, think about this before you throw it away because these things are very light and are as strong as a carbon fiber square uh, you know they flex a lot on this direction you know very flexible but on the opposite direction is no way you're gonna flex these things so what I'm gonna be doing is using these ones right here uh, you, act, you can actually get two yeah, on each windshield you just slide them off of the gum stuff you know this the slide they come out very easy very simple so let's put this away and now on the blueprints there are actually no I did not mark either you know the where the wing spark goes but I wanted to leave it that way basically so you can wait for this video and hear you know this what I, what I have to say about it uh, you know when you build a plane guys it doesn't matter if it's blueprint if you design it or you got a blueprint from somewhere else uh always tries to get your wing spar as close as possible to your center of gravity or to your cg because that is where your pivot point is going to be very close to it you know and you want that point right there to be very strong you don't want you know like the cg on this aircraft is uh well right here if I go and put my wing spar on this part over here, you know, in the middle of the wing, whenever I pull hard up or, or hard down on the elevator, uh, there is actually going to be some flexing on the wing tips right here. Uh, you, you will see that, you will notice that on an airplane, they have the wing spar too far off the CG. So remember this, get your wing spar as close as possible to your center of gravity. Uh, so, you know, th this plane will be on this point right here. So... What I did right here, actually, I just marked six inches from the point over here, six inches back. And I'm going to grab my square right here on those six inches. And I'm going to guide myself with this line on the fuselage right here. Very nice. And I'm going to mark it this way. And then I'm going to swap rulers so I can pass the line all the way across now to the other wing. And just do this. And bang. That's where my wing spar is going to be. Now, this thing I think is, I really haven't measured this thing though. It's 21 inches, so half of 21 will be, what, 11 and a half, probably? 20, no, 10 and a half. Yeah, 10 and a half. So I'm just gonna measure 10 and a half that way and 10 and a half this way. I'm gonna cut a slot over here, and I'm going to slide this on place and glue it. And I'm going to be using a Pepsi glue because it's stronger. And then I'm also going to be putting some balsa wood on the leading edge of the wing and probably on the trailing edge of the alerons too to make it stronger and not too much flexible so let me go ahead and do that and i'll show you what it looks like okay my friends so as you notice right here i already put the spars in place i actually went ahead and put the other one on the back because i was still noticing some flexible some some flex on the wings and i didn't like it so i just went ahead and put both of them windshield things and that made the wing stronger which is better and add balsa wood to the leading edge of the wings I just added onto it I did not cut the phone away and add some balsa wood on the wing tips too but on the alerons I did cut the phone away as you see right here because I did not want it to make the control surface any larger 
because there is already plenty of movements on these ones guys so there is no need for more so okay guys uh this is all we're going to be doing on this video so thank you for watching my friends uh pretty soon we're going to be getting this plank to look almost as good as this one <laughs> so see you next fly